A cumulative flow diagram, sometimes referred to as a burn-up chart, is a visual metric used in Kanban to analyze the stability of the workflow. It also helps you measure and visualize cycle and lead times, throughput, and work in progress. It's the best way to track progress and estimate process health quickly and effortlessly. Let's look at how to build a cumulative flow diagram and how it works. The diagram shows data in an area graph displaying the total volume of work for any of the process stages. In this example, the software development company has four stages that become our four areas of the CFD. These are customer ready request in blue, requirements set in red, development and testing complete in green, and request delivered to the customer in turquoise. The x-axis represents the duration of time, while the y-axis shows us the number of work items. If we look at October, we can see in the blue area that 20 customer requests were made, and we can also see that these requests were completed and delivered by the beginning of December in the turquoise area. This lets us know that our cycle time is about two months. If we look at the chart vertically, we can see how many tasks are out at any one time. The CFD also allows us to see what is working working well, and what needs improvement. Let's look at three common scenarios. Here the areas are all progressing in parallel. If your CFD looks like this, congrats! This is the ideal outcome. Your throughput is consistent, new and done items are flowing at similar rates. To improve, you can focus your efforts on shortening the cycle times of your tasks. Here we can notice a sudden reduction in the height of the bands. Why? Apparently, at this point, more items are being completed than are arriving. It shows that there are too many hands at this stage and you can reassign them to a different process to better use resources while keeping this process still on point. Here, the areas are rapidly widening. Can you guess what this means? If you said more tasks are coming in than leaving, you're right. It's the most widespread scenario you'll see on a CDF, typically resulting from multitasking or focus on no value adding work. This means you should focus on finishing tasks before starting new ones. Using Kanban software like Kanban Tool to collect this data allows you to predict and estimate project completion over any period of time automatically, increasing your chances of success with very little work on your part. Now you should know how to make and analyze a cumulative flow diagram. Follow us to learn more about cumulative flow diagrams.